Chapter 111 Look at what you did good. Dad, this is shameless. The second aunt crossed her arms and looked at Zachary proudly. Zachary's face was tense. He knew that it was not easy to avoid the incident. What should he do now? He needed to cooperate with Anna to avoid it. Zachary looked at Anna, hoping that Anna could cooperate. However, Anna had been comforting old Mr. Simpson all the time. He had no interest in other things. Second aunt, what the higher UPS said is not the truth. Just as Zachary finished speaking, old Mr. Simpson threw the stack of paper in his hand in front of Zachary. Isn't this truth? This was taken by someone else. They hung it on the screen in a hurry. Old Mr. Simpson pointed at the paper on the ground and shouted at Zachary, Do you think that you can deceive these people just by doing what you did with Anna in the end? It's so obvious, so insensible. Zachary lowered his head, but did not pick up the paper. What exactly was on it was obvious, wasn't it? Grandpa, I... Just as Zachary was about to talk to old Mr. Simpson properly, his aunt said to him earnestly, Marley, you and Anna have been together for so many years. Don't break up so easily because of an outsider. Broke in? Anna and Marley's relationship should not be broken, right? When Anna heard his aunt's words, he slowly raised his head and looked at his aunt in shock. What exactly was on the paper? This made Anna especially curious. Aunt, what are you talking about? The relationship between Anna and I will not change easily, Zachary said with a sullen face. Shut up. Now we have found out that this woman is called Lena. It turns out that she has some mental problems, but in the end, after the treatment, she went to be a nurse. This hospital is too irresponsible for the patient. The second aunt sneered. When the second aunt said this, Zachary's face became quite ugly. It was abnormally ugly. Anna glanced at Zachary and knew that Zachary's care and love for Lena were all true. He did not have the slightest bit of pretense. If this was what he was thinking, Anna suddenly found that he was really envious of Lena. To be genuinely protected by a person, what exactly was this feeling? Anna felt that she had never felt this way. She was really envious. Later, because this nurse went crazy for no reason, she beat up a colleague in the hospital and was fired. At that time, Marley and Anna were also in the hospital. Anna was also injured. The second aunt glanced at Zachary. Anna, is this true? Old Mr. Simpson immediately looked at Anna. Anna glanced at Zachary. He knew that his second aunt had inquired about the matter very clearly. Now, it was unlikely that she wanted to hide it from him. Yes, Grandfather, at that time, I was injured, Anna said softly. Did you guys hook up at that time? Old Mr. Simpson glared at Zachary. The word hook up was a little hurtful. Grandpa, it's really a misunderstanding. Marley's assistant is particularly familiar with the girl. It has nothing to do with Marley. After all, the follow-up of the incident was that Joe and Lena left. Zachary pushed the blame on Joe, so she could do it. Anna, you are too silly. How can I trust that woman? She is clearly the mistress. Can't you tell, the second aunt said to Anna, ignoring old Mr. Simpson's expression. So what if I can? What do you think I should do, second aunt? Divorce Marley. Anna smiled disapprovingly. The second aunt was speechless for a moment. She just looked at Anna and could not say anything. This. Second aunt, let's compare our hearts. If this matter were to be handled by second aunt, what would second aunt do? Would she divorce second uncle or hit a mistress? Anna asked with a faint smile. This didn't seem to be easy to achieve, right? 
The second aunt glared at Anna, Anna, your second aunt is thinking for your sake. You can't be bullied to the door of your home. You even pay attention to your old man and qualities. You can't fight, you can't scold him. Shut up. Old Mr. Simpson was late. He pointed at Zachary, you can't have any more contact with that woman in the future. It must be very difficult. Anna laughed coldly in his heart. Grandfather. This is really a misunderstanding. I have nothing to do with Lena, Zachary said sincerely to old Mr. Simpson. Just as Zachary was explaining to old Mr. Simpson, Anna did not say anything extra. It was clear that she did not intend to participate in this matter. Whether it was good or bad, it was up to Zachary alone. Anna. Old Mr. Simpson shouted at Anna. Grandpa, I am here. Anna took a deep breath and felt a little wronged. How could she not feel wronged? Now that things had developed to this point, she was the biggest injured person. In the future, if you are bullied here or find out that Marley has a relationship with that woman again, tell me and I will beat him out of the house. This time, the reputation of the Simpsons has been ruined. Old Mr. Simpson said angrily. It was said that it had been destroyed, but where was the exaggeration? After all, back then, when Uncle Simpson and his ex-wife had a divorce, looking for a mistress, and also little for, they had not destroyed the Simpsons, but they had made it look particularly ugly. Now, if it was Zachary, there would not be too many questions, right? I understand, Grandpa. Zachary answered very happily. Because this was just a matter of one sentence, and it was not a big deal at all. After the event, Zachary could continue to communicate with Lena, but he would be careful and try not to be photographed. Anna was silent the whole time, no longer helping Zachary to speak, nor did he advise old Mr. Simpson not to be angry. Instead, he kept staring at the second aunt. How did the second aunt know that there was a similar message on the internet? This was a little unusual for Anna. More importantly, second aunt and little aunt had never been on good terms with each other, but now, in order to catch a hold of Zachary, they could be said to be working together. They probably wanted Uncle Simpson to get benefits from it, right? Grandfather. Let me help you to rest. If anything happens in the future, Marley will take care of it. Anna said softly. Grandpa, don't worry. I will take care of everything. Zachary also promised old Mr. Simpson. Take care of it. Is there any other way besides making that woman disappear? Anna glanced at Zachary indifferently. His eyes could be said to be full of disdain. This matter will not be over. Old Mr. Simpson slapped the armrest of the chair heavily and said to the servant, Go, call all the boys back. I want to hold a meeting for them. Meeting? That would definitely make things especially complicated. Anna, please forgive Marley, but I won't let that woman get close to Marley again, said Anna as he helped old Mr. Simpson walk towards the study. Chapter 112 Changed Nephew in the end, old Mr. Simpson was still on Marley's side. Of course, if it was the real Marley, he would definitely not let this happen. However, Zachary was definitely different, right? Anna thought bitterly in his heart, but in front of old Mr. Simpson, he really did not dare to say a single word. I know, Grandpa. I know that woman. She didn't notice me when she was fighting with her colleagues. That's why she hurt me, Anna said softly. Anna's voice was particularly soft, giving people a feeling that she was extremely compromising. Old Mr. Simpson looked at Anna and knew that things were not that simple. What should he do? It was impossible for old Mr. Simpson to help Anna deal with his grandson, but this kind of thing could never happen again. 
the current old Mr. Simpson could only temporarily decide to use his dignity to deal with this matter. However, how many people would really listen to him? I just didn't expect that Marley would make such a thing. Old Mr. Simpson said sullenly. Besides, there was no use in talking about this anymore. Anna just lowered his head and continued to walk forward. She first sent old Mr. Simpson back to the study, then went back to find Zachary. If Aubrey and Darren could help Zachary, it would be easy. However, Anna did not know if he really wanted Zachary to be punished or just let it go. Just as Anna walked down the stairs, he was pulled over by his aunt. Marley, look at Anna. He grew up with you and grew up with you. It feels so good. We all know. But look at what you've done. Are you worthy of Anna? Little Aunt pulled Anna back. Anna wanted to save her hand, but Little Aunt held her tightly and refused to let Anna leave. If she did this, then she had a feeling that she had to force Anna. Wasn't that too much? Anna wanted to retreat again, but the second aunt blocked her. This time, they attacked from both sides, refusing to give Anna the slightest chance to retreat. The problem was that Anna had no intention of making things difficult for Zachary at all. The matter between them was clearly I am willing, and no one could blame anyone, right? Anna took a deep breath, and, that woman really has nothing to do with Marley. Anna said to them very seriously, because what she said was also the truth. It really had nothing to do with Marley, but it was inextricably linked to Zachary, wasn't it? When Zachary listened to Anna's words, he knew what Anna meant. However, others could not understand. Anna, you have done something wrong. You must make him admit it. Little Ant was eagerly hoping that Anna would criticize Zachary, but Anna waved his hand and waved them away. Anna suddenly turned around and stood opposite them. What was he going to do? Was Anna going to fight them head on? Of course not, Anna was not in the mood to do so. Second Aunt, Little Aunt, listen to Grandfather. I believe Grandfather will have a very accurate judgment, Anna said coldly. Anna, why don't you say that Grandfather will only cover this matter up for Marley? However, who will be the one to suffer in the end? Do you understand? The second aunt sneered. Normally, there was no such thing. Anna took a deep breath as he listened to the second aunt. He really wanted to block this matter. Zachary took a step forward and grabbed Anna's shoulder. Second aunt, there will be no third person in the relationship between Anna and me, but... But what? The second aunt looked at Zachary's narrowed eyes and felt uncomfortable. This kid must have known some secrets. This thought immediately emerged in second aunt's heart, but it was too late to stop Zachary from speaking. Because I know that second uncle has taken a fancy to someone else recently, Zachary said with a smile that was not a smile. When second aunt heard this, she was really angry and helpless. In the end, he actually looked deeply at Anna. Yes, he really looked at Anna. Anna immediately felt uncomfortable. Why was he looking at her all of a sudden? Or did he have other thoughts? She couldn't help but retreat. She really hid in Zachary's arms. Second aunt, although I don't know who that person is, I will slowly find out. Zachary blocked Anna behind her and completely blocked her, as if he was afraid that someone would make things difficult for Anna and hurt her again. Anna also hid very well, as if he would never let anyone bully him. This was the safest way. But, Second aunt, you should know, right? So, you have to be careful. Don't worry about our family affairs anymore. Look at your own home, Zachary said smilingly. Humph, do you think I don't know who that woman is? She widened her eyes and glared at Zachary. 
I'm afraid that the second aunt would not understand why Marley, who looked very gentle in the past, became another person after he truly took over the company. You, you. The second aunt pointed at Zachary, unable to say a word. She had originally planned to use those things on the internet to make Zachary lose face, but now it seemed that the one who really lost face was her. How could this work? Marley, why are you so disrespectful to your elders? Anna, you too, you. What happened to our Anna? Aubrey slowly walked in, followed by other people. Old Mr. Simpson's words were not a joke, but the truth. He said to let everyone come back for a meeting, but in the end, everyone came back. Anna was a little surprised, but according to old Mr. Simpson's swift and decisive habits, this was absolutely possible. Dad really is. When Anne saw this, she knew that old Mr. Simpson was really not joking. She stomped her feet and ran upstairs. Looking at his aunt, he knew that he was very dissatisfied with old Mr. Simpson's decision. However, everyone was here, and old Mr. Simpson also knew that this will must be seen. This time, not only the children were here, but the grandchildren were also here. They were all very united, all staring at Zachary, as if this guy had done something very lawless. Everyone was here, right? They all went to old Mr. Simpson's study. Anna thought about it and was about to follow them, but she was stopped by Zachary. What was he going to do? The first thing that came to Anna's mind was this sentence. Her whole body was tense and uncomfortable. Although Anna seemed to have blocked old Mr. Simpson's arrow for Zachary, in fact, she was doing it for herself. Chapter 113 All of them went to the meeting. What was the relationship between her and Zachary? They were just enemies. You stay here. I can go and take a look myself. Zachary seemed to be very tired. Since it is something that everyone needs to be present, I think I should be there too. I'm not afraid, what are you afraid of? Anna smiled at Zachary. Yes, what was Zachary afraid of? Anna could not help but take a step forward and whisper into Zachary's ear, Are you afraid that I will talk nonsense? Of course not. Zachary gritted his teeth and looked at Anna. If you go up, you will be questioned. Do you think you have less trouble? It sounded a little reasonable. Anna just stared at Zachary, but he did not say anything else. He was thinking whether he should express his gratitude to Zachary. Sure. Anna patted Zachary's clothes and said to him in front of other people of the same generation, in front of grandfather, tell the truth. All those photos are fake, understand. Why did Anna suddenly change what he wanted to say? Zachary was stunned and looked behind him. It turned out that Uncle Simpson had come. The second aunt ran over to make a ruckus. As the husband of the second aunt, Uncle Simpson was embarrassed that he came late. It seemed that it was not appropriate. Hey, Marley. When Uncle Simpson saw Zachary, he walked over and said with a smile, I heard that you encountered some trouble. No. Zachary naturally denied. Why not? Uncle Simpson patted Zachary on the shoulder and smiled at him. It's fine. If there's anything, I'm here. If you have a hurdle that you can't overcome, I'll help you. When Anna heard these words, he felt that it was especially ridiculous. Would Uncle Simpson help Zachary go to the pit? It would be good if he did not push Zachary into the pit. Thank you, second uncle. I remember what second uncle said, Zachary said with a smile. As long as you remember it. We are all from the Simpsons. Work hard together. While Uncle Simpson was patting Zachary and saying those false words, old Mr. Simpson let them go upstairs. Anna indeed did not go up, but sat downstairs and waited. 
Little Ant was also a person with a temper. At first, she wanted to sit next to Anna and ask if something similar had happened next to Anna. In the end, she was called up by old Mr. Simpson. Anna sat down alone without saying a word. He just felt a little awkward. Anna. Someone suddenly called out to Anna. Anna was shocked. She didn't know which elder didn't listen to old Mr. Simpson's training and ran over to talk to her. He must be asking about gossip. There was no need to guess. When Anna raised his head, he realized that it was Aubrey. Mom. Why didn't you go upstairs? Anna called out to Aubrey. I don't want to go up. I haven't even taught my own son well. What right do I have to go upstairs? Aubrey asked. Anna listened to Aubrey's words and was very sad. If Marley was still alive, how could there be so many messy things? Yes, there would definitely be no such thing. Mom, don't be sad. Everything will be fine. We will all get better. Anna comforted Aubrey and said softly. Yes, it will definitely get better, won't it? Mom knows that you are blaming Mom because I really wanted shares before. I didn't think about the matter between you and Marley. Aubrey hugged Anna gently. When Anna heard this, he almost cried. They were all acting, and Anna was also going to continue acting. He absolutely could not retreat. But, you have to understand mother. If I can make Darren empty, then Marley's matter can also be figured out, right? Anna, I know it's been hard on you. Aubrey persuaded Anna. Anna tried his best to suppress his emotions, not letting it leak out, but sometimes, he really could not control it. Tears kept rolling in his eyes, but there was no way for them to flow back. Mom. I understand, everything can be over, Anna said with a bitter smile. Yes, it must be possible. When Aubrey and Anna sat together, Darren and Zachary walked down. Mom. When Zachary called this word, it was unknown which word he deliberately bit. In short, it sounded particularly awkward. Aubrey did not want to look at Zachary anymore. Everything was caused by this child and he was still so proud of himself in front of her. Wasn't this too ridiculous? Don't call me. Aubrey shouted. Mom, I was wrong. I really didn't do it on purpose, Zachary said softly. Then it was intentional, right? Aubrey turned his head, not willing to listen to even half a word. The two of them mother and son, were having a quarrel here, but old Mr. Simpson wanted to talk with Aubrey alone. No, I'll go with you. Darren seemed to be afraid of something and insisted on going upstairs with Aubrey. This was the real trouble, wasn't it? Master said that he just wanted to see Madam. The servant reminded Darren awkwardly. Darren was quite embarrassed, but in the end, he pulled the corners of his mouth and said awkwardly, Dad, if anything happens, I will follow you up. In the end, Aubrey did not really go up with Darren. What did Grandpa say? Anna asked softly. It's fine. I taught him a lesson, but he still trusts me, Zachary said. Was it a little ridiculous to believe in someone who did something wrong? How nice. Grandpa treats you so well. Anna smiled coldly. Don't you know? He thinks of me as Marley, Zachary whispered into Anna's ear. Marley. The three words were said through gritted teeth. When they were squeezed out from between Zachary's teeth, Anna saw Darren walking down the stairs in a depressed manner. Humph, what a joke. Dad. Where's Mom? Anna was the first to stand up. Ah, she's talking to your grandfather. Darren frowned slightly. Her face was full of worry, which made people feel uneasy. 
she probably knew that there were some things that she could not handle. Anna had been silently guessing in her heart. She didn't know how many things they were hiding from old Mr. Simpson. She couldn't keep it a secret, because she also wanted to know everything. Then I'll go up and accompany my mother. After all, my mother has always been in poor health. Anna said casually. When he quarreled with Darren, he was admitted to the hospital directly. Presumably, everyone had an idea in their hearts, right? Darren looked at Anna. Of course, he was 100 unwilling. You don't have to go. Nothing will happen. Grandpa, I just want to remind us. Zachary held Anna's hand tightly. Chapter 114 Constant Arguments This we referred to many people. Anna could only let Zachary hold her hand gloomily. Even if she was unwilling, she was dissatisfied and wanted to have a good evaluation with Zachary. In the end, it was unsuccessful. Okay, then let's wait a little longer. Anna could only obey Zachary's opinion and temporarily do this. They sat back on the sofa and did not communicate any more. The people in such a large room only spoke when they were instructing the servants. They were all waiting for Aubrey to appear again. They did not know what old Mr. Simpson would say to Aubrey. Everyone was very curious, wasn't it? Finally, they were waiting. When Aubrey walked down, his face was full of wind, as if he had gotten some benefits, and he was very proud. What's going on? When Darren saw Aubrey's expression, he was also a little stunned. Looks like Mom is very happy, Anna said with a smile. If Aubrey was happy, it would be equivalent to making Darren and Zachary angry, right? Shouldn't you be very happy? Anna raised his eyebrows and looked at Zachary's slightly pale face. Of course I am. I've never been this happy before. Zachary squeezed out a smile. In front of so many people, it was really impossible for Zachary to go against Aubrey. He still had to call her mother with sincerity. The way Aubrey looked at Zachary was indeed a bit proud, and his small eyes were about to shine. It's fine. Aubrey held Zachary's arm and said with a faint smile, Don't do anything wrong in the future. The more they were like this, the less confidence Zachary had in his heart. However, he did not show it on the surface. Mom, after all, I provoked Grandpa. I will go upstairs to see Grandpa first. Then let's go home. Zachary said to Aubrey. When everyone wanted to stay and see if they could coax old Mr. Simpson and even get more things from here, they prepared to leave. Anna thought about it and finally did not follow Zachary. Her eyes followed Zachary, as if she was very worried about his situation. Anna, it will be fine. Aubrey knew Anna's character and knew that Anna would definitely wait for Zachary to come out before leaving together. No matter what he could not lose face in front of the Simpsons people. I know. Marley did not do anything. Of course, he will be fine. He didn't do anything, Anna said with a smile. When Anna saw Aubrey's expression, he really wanted to know the contents of the conversation between old Mr. Simpson and Aubrey, because it looked so disturbing. Mom. What did Grandpa say? Anna pulled Aubrey. When Aubrey heard Anna's question, he deliberately refused to tell Anna the truth. He had to wait until he returned home to talk to Anna. Well, Anna was not so eager at first. When Aubrey wanted to say it, it was too late. Marley has done such an excessive thing this time. Anna did not blame him at all. His temper is really good. Aunt absolutely must seize every opportunity to talk with Aubrey. Listening to Anna, she felt very uncomfortable. Marley will never do anything wrong, Aubrey said firmly. When Aubrey mentioned Mo Yan in front of the outsiders, his eyes were immediately covered with a layer of tears. 
They did not have any evidence right now. They could go to Marley and it was fake. They had to swallow all the bitter fruits. At the very least, there was still some hope for the future. However, what did Zachary do? He used all his strength to ruin Marley's reputation. Mom, let's go home. When Zachary heard Aubrey's words, his mood was quite complicated. Of course, he knew who Aubrey really wanted to protect. At the very least, it wouldn't be him. The four of them really left. They didn't beat the tiger to stay behind to accompany old Mr. Simpson for a meal or something. Only people who wanted to curry favor with old Mr. Simpson would do such a thing. Today, the four of them were actually sitting in the same car. It was really a strange combination. When Anna sat in the back seat, she did not say a word and her whole body was tense. She was afraid, what was she afraid of? Zachary's hands grabbed Anna's arms from behind Anna. He saw that Anna was trembling and reached out to help her, but he was shocked. Anna turned around in shock. When he glared at Zachary, he heard Aubrey sneer, All right, there's no need to pretend in front of us. Do you still think that I don't know anything? All right, let's talk when we get home. Darren roared. He was already quite angry, but it was more because of Zachary. What a good card, it was almost smashed by Zachary. Anna glanced at Joe, who was only in charge of driving, and felt that the atmosphere was so depressing that people could not speak. However, Joe was only in charge of driving quietly and would not say a word. This was a smart person, at least for Anna, it was indeed like this. What's there to talk about at home? My Marley's good reputation has all been ruined. Aubrey looked out of the window and murmured, My Marley is good. I will never make mistakes. The servants are all good children. When Anna heard Aubrey's words, she couldn't help but tremble. This was the most sad words she had heard in so long. Anna knew exactly how good her Marley was. What she wanted to see the most was for Marley to spend the rest of his life with her, right? All her beautiful dreams were ruined because of Zachary. Enough, stop talking about it. Darren was about to drink Aubrey, not letting him continue. After all, Darren was not familiar with the driver. Dad, he is my childhood friend. He knows everything, Zachary said with a faint smile. Darren did not expect that the person in charge of driving was actually Zachary's people. Was there anyone who knew the truth? When Joe sent them to Darren's villa, he waited outside, ready to send Zachary and Anna home at any time. He knew Zachary too well, and it was absolutely impossible to spend the night outside. This was the first time that Zachary had entered this villa, because he did not want to come at all. Aubrey did not change his shoes and directly sat on the sofa. What exactly did Dad say to you? Or did he give you some benefits? Otherwise, with your temper, you must make a fuss. Yes, do you have any objections? This is what I deserve. I should have been Marley, but what about Marley? Aubrey raised his head and glared at Darren coldly. Marley was no longer alive, wasn't he? Anna just stood at the door and watched the couple quarrel. Suddenly, he felt very tired. They quarreled, and I argued, completely ignoring Anna at the door. Chapter 115 The Family That Fell Ash Aren't you going in? Let me introduce you to everything here, Zachary said as he changed into his shoes. What? Anna frowned as he listened to Zachary. What are you talking about? I'm saying that I'm very familiar with this place. There are many things that I bought with my own hands, Zachary sneered. He bought them with his own hands? Anna shook his head. That's impossible, he said. How is it impossible? This house was picked by my mother. 
Come, I'll take you to have a look, Zachary said in Anna's ear. Was this reason why Zachary had a gloomy expression when he saw this villa? He had once lived here. When I was very young, Zachary said to Anna, I lived in it. The thing I bought with my own hands is. Zachary whispered in Anna's ear, telling her which item had been bought by Zachary's mother and which item had been carefully selected by them. Anna's heart fell heavily, and an indescribable feeling was slowly spreading. In fact, Zachary was also quite miserable, wasn't he? Everything that belonged to him in the Simpsons had become someone else's in a blink of an eye. No, Anna closed her eyes and took a deep breath. She felt that she was going to be brainwashed by Zachary in the end. She actually thought that it was not easy for Zachary to live so many years. I don't want to care about the things between you two. I only know that Marley is no longer here, Anna said truthfully. You grew up with Marley, so you must have been here before, right? Zachary asked. Often, Anna answered. Darren, let me tell you, it's not easy for me to tolerate Zachary standing here. Everything the old man gave me is what Marley and I deserve. It has nothing to do with you. You brought your illegitimate son home and replaced my son. I will never forgive you. Aubrey suddenly roared at Darren. Anna turned around and saw that Darren, who was arguing, was actually attacking Aubrey. Mom. Anna had just taken a step when he was pulled by Zachary and thrown to a chair on the side. You. Anna glared at Zachary only to find that Zachary had walked up to Darren and said with a sneer, wind and water take turns. Back then, this was how you hit my mother. Zachary's words were undoubtedly burning oil on fire. Aubrey immediately rushed to the front to tear and tear with Zachary. Zachary had no intention of letting him go. Instead, he immediately turned around and pushed Aubrey away with a wave of his hand. Mom. Anna immediately wanted to walk to the front. Aubrey was weak, how could he deal with Zachary and Darren? Anna. Don't be afraid. From now on, mine is yours. Aubrey cried. Anna was stunned and felt that Aubrey was really provoking Darren. Sure enough, there were other words to be said later. Let me tell you, Darren, you can't get a single cent from the Elliots. You can't even think about the Elliot's insistence. And Zachary, I can tolerate you because you took Marley's name. But sooner or later, I will find out the truth. As Aubrey shouted, Darren raised his hand and prepared to slap him again. You can't do this. Just as Anna rushed over, he was stopped by Zachary again. Let go of me. Anna shouted, You are simply. Let's go. With a wave of his hand, Zachary dragged Anna upstairs. Darren and Aubrey argued even more fiercely, but Zachary completely ignored the couple. Instead, he only pulled Anna forward. Let go. Dad is beating Mom. I want to go. Just as Anna was talking to Zachary, she heard Zachary coldly remind her, All right. It's good enough that you can manage yourself well. What are you talking about? Anna glared at Zachary and heard Zachary continue, I'm telling you, you can't do anything. In the end, you will be accidentally injured. Who said that she would be accidentally injured in the end? Anna glared at Zachary and was pushed into a room by Zachary. This room. How did she get in? This is. Anna stood there in a daze. The room was covered in dust, and it was completely filthy beyond Anna's imagination. Zachary turned on the lights and sneered at the furnishings in the room. Dad and Mom never allowed us to play in this room, Anna said softly. It was the first time she had entered this room. She had never expected it to be so terrible. Everything in the room was covered with a white cloth but it was covered with dust. There was no need to shake, 
and one could see the dust flying up. It was a bit choking. How could it be like this? Anna asked in a murmur, feeling that it was really inconceivable. This villa was Aubrey's favorite, but how could he allow a room to become so bad? This is my mother's room. I thought I would never have the chance to come here again, Zachary said with emotion. It turned out that this was the place where Zachary's mother used to live. If that was the case, it seemed to explain why Aubrey did not allow them to enter this room because there was a knot in his heart, right? My mother used to like this place very much. She repeatedly requested that we move here before Darren bought this place. And the result? It was at this place that Aubrey rushed in and hit the mother who was pregnant at that time. Zachary continued. Anna suddenly raised her head and looked at Zachary in astonishment. She never thought that such a thing would happen. No, it's impossible. Mom is not the one who kissed her. He treats us especially well. Anna stuttered. When Zachary heard Anna say this, she turned her head and looked at Anna with an incredulous expression. Yes, I also find it very strange. How could Aubrey be so good to you? This is simply impossible. Anna shook her head gently. How could she believe it? What are you doing? Anna stared warily at Zachary who was walking in front of him. His entire body was on guard. Zachary placed his hand on the door behind Anna and gently pushed it open. The door was behind Anna and was closed. What about you? Where did you originally live? Anna's voice trembled as he looked at the red-eyed Zachary. Zachary must have come back here without any precautions, right? Thinking back to everything that had happened back then, he felt sad and even angry. You want to know? Zachary asked him with a smile that was not a smile. Anna felt that her scalp was numb, and she felt very uncomfortable. Anna smiled lightly, but in the end, she shook her head and said, No, I don't. Yes, she really didn't want to. Zachary looked at the frightened Anna and approached her face with a faint smile. What are you afraid of? Will I eat you? Or are you looking forward to it? Chapter 116 He was smashed in the head by the vase. Anticipation? Why would she be full of expectation for Zachary? Don't flatter yourself. This is not home. I advise you not to mess around. Anna said coldly. Mess? Here. This place is so dirty, how could it be? Zachary smiled. I'll take you to my room to take a look. He leaned over to Anna's ear. No, she didn't want to go. Anna suddenly had some fear in her heart, as if Zachary would really tear her down. She did not like to be so close to Zachary, so she reached out and gently pushed him. Let's go out. Anna had not finished speaking. Zachary suddenly turned around and pulled Anna out the door. He meant what he said and was ready to take Anna to his room. At first, he was unwilling to go around because this was really his sad place. However, when he saw Anna's disgusted look, he actually had a bad intention and insisted on taking Anna for a walk. Just as Zachary opened the door, he saw Aubrey walk to the door. Aubrey was originally crying and cursing, but when he saw that Zachary and Anna came out of this room, his face gradually became distorted. Mom, are you okay? Zachary looked at Aubrey's slowly distorted face with ridicule and reminded her with good intentions, Anna doesn't know anything. Aubrey took a deep breath, I really don't understand what you are talking about. Anna, come out quickly. Anna had just been grabbed by Aubrey's arm, but Zachary blocked it. I still have to take Anna to my room to take a look. Mom should discuss this with Dad. Zachary coldly walked around Aubrey. Discuss. Aubrey took a deep breath, but the anger in his heart could not be smoothed. This was injustice, 
this was sin. Aubrey turned around and glared at Zachary, who was dragging Anna away. It was this man who had taken everything that belonged to his son away, and now he still wanted to show off in front of him, so he was right in her heart, wasn't he? If she, Aubrey, had no son, then it meant that the Simpsons' company would be inherited by others. How could she allow this? However, Zachary was really going too far. The more Aubrey thought about it, the angrier he got. Gradually, he could no longer calm down. It was all Zachary's fault, it was all his fault. Aubrey suddenly reached out and grabbed the thing beside her. She didn't see what it was, so she quickly ran a few steps with it and smashed it on Zachary's head. Countless fragments fell from Aubrey and Anna's eyes, while Zachary stood there, motionless. Aubrey actually took the vase in the corridor and smashed it at Zachary. No, no. Aubrey was shocked at first. She did not expect that she would really make a move. But in the blink of an eye, she shouted at Zachary, It's all your fault. It's all your fault. I will let you die a graveless death. Aubrey, don't forget why you refused to tell old Mr. Simpson the truth. Because you are afraid, aren't you? Zachary turned around and grabbed Aubrey's hand. Afraid? What am I afraid of? I, Aubrey, have never had anything to be afraid of. Aubrey tried his best to widen his eyes and glare at Zachary. You have. You are afraid that my identity will be revealed. Not only do you have no status in The Simpsons, but you are also afraid that I will come back in a justified manner, right? Zachary took a step forward and said, The reason why you refuse to say it is because you can't figure out old Mr. Simpson's temper. You don't know his final decision, do you? Aubrey was completely caught in the middle. She looked at Zachary with hatred and shock, but she couldn't say a word to refute him. Is it like this? Anna looked at Aubrey and told herself that she could understand Aubrey's feelings. However, there was also a voice that kept telling her that this was Aubrey's true face. Aubrey wanted to find out the truth, and her desire to avenge Marley had disappeared. Instead, she was afraid that her position would be lost. You have to be careful. If I come back, I will definitely bring my mother back. At that time, you will have nothing. Zachary sneered. Aubrey clenched her fists tightly. She really wanted to make another move, but she was afraid that what Zachary said would become true. Zachary. Anna suddenly grabbed Zachary's hand and screamed. What are you arguing about? Zachary turned his head and shouted at Anna. He saw that Anna was shocked. She held his arm tightly, as if she was going to faint. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and call the doctor. Darren happened to walk over as well and shouted in exasperation. Zachary looked at Anna and felt a little dizzy. It should be Aubrey who had broken his head. Zachary had just felt dizzy. He grabbed Anna and gritted his teeth as he persisted. Hurry up and go back to your room to rest. Don't delay any longer, Darren immediately pushed Zachary away. As Zachary walked past Aubrey, he glared at her coldly. Today, Aubrey had broken his head. In the future, he had to think about what more terrifying things he would face. Aubrey looked at the blood on the ground and did not move. In the end, she still moved, didn't she? Zachary pulled Anna into a room regardless of what Darren was shouting. I'll go get something and cover my wound first. Just as Anna was about to leave, he heard Zachary say to him, Anna, this is my room. His room. Anna just took a look and did not have any attitude. She had no impression of this room. Although the door was not locked, there should not be anyone living in it. The doctor soon arrived at the villa and immediately bandaged Zachary. The wound was not big, 
but the gauze would definitely be exposed. Anna touched his chin and looked at the funny Zachary, but there was no smile on his face. If old Mr. Simpson saw Zachary like this, he would definitely ask more questions. How would they make things clear then? Mr. Simpson, nothing happened, but you have to rest for a few days, the doctor suddenly said. Zachary responded and felt Anna's gaze. Anna seemed to be worried about Zachary's injury, but also seemed to be examining him. After the doctor left, Zachary sneered at Anna and said, I will explain it to old Mr. Simpson. That's right. Anna smiled. It's good that you're fine. I'll go out first. This is my room. Do you not have any impression? Zachary suddenly shouted at Anna again. Yes. Anna curled her lips, turned her head and said to Zachary, I didn't come here often in the past, and I didn't remember clearly what happened here. Zachary repeatedly wanted her to see Aubrey's true face, what was it for? Did he want her and Aubrey to have a bad relationship, and then they would become enemies, so that Zachary would benefit from it? It had to be said that this move of Zachary was really quite effective. At least, he wanted to let Anna know that in Aubrey's heart, the deceased Marley had been replaced by money.